Are you up for an adventure? Hmm? How about trying to find a groundhog in one of Chicago's forest preserves to interview? You know how I like to do interviews. Okay, I know they have lots of animals in those forests. I would love to know how groundhogs get ready for Groundhog Day. All right, the forests are just so dense. Okay, we're going to have to bring along that flashlight. Got it? Here's the burrow over here. Do you see it? Flash the light down here. It's really dark down there. Sleeping, Mr. Groundhog. Oh, well, we have to hibernate to get through the tough winter. What happens when you hibernate? Well, the breathing and heart beat slows down, and the body temperature goes south, too. We really like to take it nice and easy. In fact, we look like we're almost dead, you know, like possums play dead, but we ain't. How about that? That's a long time. Hey, don't you get hungry? Hungry? No, there's lots of food down here. We chow down on roots and grubs and worms. Get plenty of protein from those little guys. And I really love carrots. I want parsnips. Oh, they <laughs> have such a sweet taste, but they're hard to get in the winter. So I stash a few away for some sweet treats. The cold ground keeps them nice and crisp. Just love that frosty crunch. That sounds like a really cool idea. But you know, I can get by with very little food when I'm taking my wintertime nap. By the way, good taste, and I oversleep. What day is it? No, you didn't oversleep. It's only January 15th. that you don't sleep until February 2nd? Well, here's the exclusive. I wake up a little earlier, and I sneak out at night to get some extra food. I dig around people's gardens for the leftovers from last fall. You know, everything tastes good when you're hungry. I eat as much as I can. Got to get my body in shape and look healthy for those photos, you know. Is there anything else that you have to do? Well, since you ask, I'll let you in on my big secret. I go down to the spa and have a hot bath, too. We have a hot spring here that gives off 105-degree water year-round, and I love taking a dip to remove all that dirt and grime that collects in my fur when I'm sleeping. Well, don't you get cold when your fur gets all wet, though? Groundhogs. Of course, I don't lead around here, but I get on the groundhog internet to make sure all of us are ready for our big day. Can't have any of us looking bad. Sometimes I have to wake up a few of the lazy ones. It's <laughs> a big day for all of us, you know. Well, after that, I guess it's all over, right?
does it, anyone know that all of this is happening? Oh, 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 and oh, this is a private part of my life and not any of the public's business. In fact, there is one very special lady groundhog that I'm already interested in. I don't want to share her name with you. It's confidential. I plan to get a Valentine's Day gift for her. I oh. think I'm going to get her it. She really <laughs> likes diamonds, and I like the chocolate kind. That will set her apart from the other, all the other females around here. It sounds like you have some really big plans. Want to share some more with us? Those caring relationships are very important. Well, we have to keep replenishing the groundhog species. You know, there are some mean characters out there with guns that are good at picking us off, even having us for dinner. Imagine that. I really want to thank you for giving us a peek into your life and sharing all of these thoughts with us. I guess the next time I'm really going to see you is in those Chicago papers and I know that you're going to look really handsome. I sure hope that it's going to be a cloudy day, so we're going to have a short winter. Oh, I do too. I'm, I'm a man of action, and a nice warm spring which makes that easier. And great chatting with your good taste, and don't forget to check out the picture. Sure will, Mr. Groundhog. Love talking to you.